Hey Sagittarius, it's your girl Tarot Carpe. I'm here to do your general reading going into February. I hope you're doing amazing. Let's jump in. In this reading, we're going to talk about your overall energy, a little bit about finances, and at the very end, we're going to discuss love. So make sure you watch until the end. Let's jump in for my Sagittarius overall energy. As we go into February, we have seven of cups in reverse. You don't like your options. This might be romantic options this might be friendship options this might be job options but there is a feeling of you not being happy with what you're given and that doesn't mean that you're not grateful that means that there's a part of you that knows that you want and deserve more a little bit more about that energy ten of cups yeah you're looking for emotional satisfaction and that's in all things you're looking to be satisfied in love, in work, in friendship. I do see that um, family dynamics is really important to you. So you might be at the phase of life where you're ready for a, a child, a marriage, share your life with someone. Uh, but I do get that Ten of Cups feeling. It's almost like you want to feel Ten of Cups everywhere. You want to feel Ten of Cups at work. You want to feel Ten of Cups with your friendship dynamics. You want to feel Ten of Cups with your uh, soulmate. And that's not wrong. That's what you want. And that's the overall energy. You're not happy, but you know what you want. And we got the five of cups for you're not happy, but you know what you want. You're not happy with the current situation. That doesn't mean you're not happy with your life overall. There is that energy of the five of cups, which does tie to a past energy. There was a connection in the past, a friendship connection, a love connection. I get that this was a connection that you were like lovers and friends. You had fun together. You might have traveled together. You may have celebrated together, Sagittarius. You're missing this, but you're only missing it because you don't like your options. Like if you had amazing love options, you wouldn't think about this past energy. You wouldn't think about this past person at all. You know this past person is meant to stay in the past, but you reminisce about it because you're not happy with your options right now. Ooh, what's that? Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. Some of you are remembering the past in a more happier light than what actually happened. You know, a lot of times we can look in the past and be like, oh, I miss this person. And we had so much fun together and the person was sexy and they just made me laugh and they knew how to take care of me. But also the flip side of that is that this person made you feel defeated and exhausted. You felt like there was always something negative that was going on. There was always a fight to be had. There was also always an obstacle with this person. On top of this person was very egotistical and liked to win at all costs with the five of swords. They didn't care who they hurt. This person could have also had you in a third party situation since we have the three of cups in the five of cups that are knocked over. And then we have three people in this card. So you miss certain aspects about the connection with the past person. However, the reality is this person was a deceitful, arrogant liar for some of you. <laughs> and both things can be true. You could have had amazing times with this person. You could have laughed. You could have had fun. You could have had great sex. You could have had great passion. But this, this is also true that there was a lot of obstacles. It drained your energy. You had to use a lot of energy and that this person's a deceitful liar. But there are certain aspects of the connection with this person, Sagittarius, you miss. Okay, now we're going to jump into money. Money, 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 money. And at the nine, um, at, the, at the end, <laughs> the bottom of the deck, we got the nine of pentacles. So money is looking good. Money is looking good or it will look good. You will feel abundant. You will feel surrounded by the luxuries of life. You will be able to travel where you want. You'll be able to wear the clothes that you want. You'll be able to live in the home that you want if you're not already having that experience now. Um, money is going to look really good. I feel that a lot of you have a regal personality, uh, per regal personality. So even if the money is not right right now, you still feel abundant. Like you might give rich Rich boy vibes or rich girl vibes, even if the money's not there. And that's a great way to manifest the money, not by spending your money to look rich, but embodying the feeling 
that you would feel if you had everything, if you had all the money that you want, how would you feel? How would you walk? How would you talk? How you would hold your head up high? That's the energy, that regal energy that's going to bring more money towards you. We got the moon card when it comes to your money. There are ideas that you're keeping a secret. There are certain ideas that could actually produce more money, but you're keeping this a secret or you're not acting on these ideas. Um, you can be a little shy when it comes to your ideas, like you're creative, you're adaptable. You may have your you know, you may have the ability to do a lot of different things, but there is one particular idea that's very close to your heart. Um, I would say take some time to think about that and think about how you can bring it to life and make it profitable. What else about money? The chariot. If you feel lost, you will be guided. You were also guided away from this past situation because you cannot bring in abundance and wealth while tied to someone who's actively trying to lower your vibration. So this person from the past was actively trying to lower your vibration by lying to you, by being manipulative, etc., etc. You were moved away from any situation like that because you're not going to bring abundance in with that energy. Anything else about money? Three of wands. Yeah. Keep moving forward. Keep thinking about the future. Keep thinking about moving for some of you. Some of you, your finances will increase once you make that move that you've been planning and wanting to make. But some of you, the move forward is really just a mental state of thinking about the future, planning for the future, manifesting and dreaming what you want in your future. Because this person is waiting for their ships to come in. This person didn't just come to the edge when they thought the ships were there. You know what I'm saying? They didn't come to the edge like, oh, the ships, I heard the ships were here. I'm just going to come to the edge. This person's waiting on the edge, waiting for their ships to come in with no idea of when it's actually coming in, but the belief that it's coming. This person believed so much that the ships were coming in. They're just on the edge waiting for it with no signs. You know, no reminder, nobody called them, no tracking device, no tracking information of when the ships were going to come in. This person just believes deep down that the ships are coming. So they're already taking the action to receive what's meant for them. Oh, I felt that. I felt that. All right. So let's go into love, 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 love. Tell me, you know, when you get that hair curled a little bit more right. The reading feels right. <laughs> the reading feels right when I look right, especially after being sick for a little bit. The reading feels right. All right. When it comes to love, I got the king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I got to take that. There is a mate coming. It's at the bottom of the deck, not the top bottom of the deck. There may be somebody in your environment that has this king of pentacles energy that you're not paying attention to. It's like this, this king of pentacles is hidden. So there could be a person who maybe they come off as a F boy, F girl, F entity, but they're really a king of pentacles deep down. And that's the side of you, the side of them that you have not seen. But either way, this king of pentacles is being hidden. Why is this king of pentacles love interest being hidden? We got eight of swords, the strength card, and the ten of cups. This is an energy that wants to communicate how they feel. They are terrified. <laughs> as strong as this person is, they are a bit terrified to come forward and communicate how they feel. I do get this is someone that you know for some of you. If this is not someone that you know, this is someone you will meet, they will fall in love, or at the very least, they will want to fall in love. They will want a dynamic of a relationship. They would want, they would want to join lives together and live your lives together. You might meet this person at church. I got something about the blood of Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I got something about that. Um... And with that being said, a connection with this person could really inspire you, could protect you. 
because that's what the blood in Christianity, when you're covered in the blood, that's what it's representing, protection. Okay, let's, let's get away from that. That was interesting. I never got that before. We got the two of pentacles and the emperor. You're going to have a choice in, with two lovers. You're going to have a king of pentacles and an emperor. I'm happy with that. Choices are good, and those are good choices. A stable king who's the king of his financial world, his material world. And we have the emperor who's the king of all kings. The one and the only. You might meet this person in April for the for the emperor, but the king of pentacles already exists in your life for some of you. This is someone you know, so you may have a choice between two. Your emperor could be an Aries as well, or you could just meet them during Aries season. What do Sagittarius need to know about this lover or their lovers? I got the Ace of Cups. You may have many lovers, but you only have one ace of cups. So you may try to bounce, you may try to like juggle both of these people at, at one time. Not really juggle, but you might date both options at one time, but you only have one cup. It's almost like there may be some competition for your heart with this person. You will also need strength to give your ace of cups. Strength is needed for you to open up emotionally, but I do see that you could have the Ace of Cups with either person. Right now, it is leaning more towards the person, the Emperor energy, um, but that's only because you don't know the King of Pentacles is already in your energy. What else? Got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What else about that? And the three of wands in reverse. It's important that you move forward from past connections. Even if this king of pentacles, if this is a past person who's done you dirty, that's the, that's the kicker. That's the caveat, right? This person from the past, if they've done you dirty, they picked another person over you, you know, they lied to you, uh, they didn't invest in you. It's possible that you could be leaving that person in the past. I would leave anybody in the past who had the opportunity to treat me correctly and did not. It's time to let that go so you can be open and, and bring in new love. Some of you have been thinking like in deep thought about a past person or this past situation, a person who did not invest in you. Uh, you've been thinking about let it, letting it go, but you need to let it go with the high priestess. Like, you know what you need to know. You, you know all there is to know about this person from the past who did not invest with you. You know all there is to know with the high priestess. The high priestess is the inner knowing, is your subconscious, and your subconscious knows all. Your, you know all you need to know. It's time for you to make the decision to move forward so you can usher in these two love interests or the right love interest for you. You know, I got the two of swords for decision making time and the sun card. Choose happiness. You do have a choice. The happiness exists for you to choose. Oftentimes we get caught in dynamics where people aren't treating us well and we get trapped mentally when we don't think about, this is a choice for me to be here. It's a choice for me to interact with someone who's not valuing me. It's a choice for me to interact with someone who's not investing in me. You also have the opposite side of that choice and it's to choose happiness. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you like this reading. Hit the thumbs up. Talk to me nicely in the comments. More readings to come. If you want me to continue Sagittarius readings, you have to get the, the views up because the views have been weighing a little bit. So if you want these readings to continue, please let me know in the comments. I love reading for you and I'll see you